Most of us check the weather forecast each morning to see whether we need a coat or an umbrella, or in extreme cases, to stay home. While science has made forecasting storms and weather events more accurate, the weather is still often unpredictable. We can't always accurately predict the weather, but nuclear plant operators and the staff here at the NRC have the experience and the plans to ensure that the nation's nuclear plants remain safe, even when facing hurricanes, tornadoes, heavy rain and floods, and ice and snowstorms. Some weather-related events that affected nuclear power plants in the past include Superstorm Sandy in 2012, Hurricane Harvey in 2017, and the March Nor'easter of 2018, which brought heavy snow and tropical storm force winds to the Mid-Atlantic and New England. Nuclear power plants are designed and built taking into consideration the kinds of severe weather expected in the area where they're located. Plants along the coast consider hurricane effects. Plants near rivers and other bodies of water evaluate water intrusion and flooding. Plants in areas with more thunderstorm and tornado activity take into account those events. And plants in colder regions have equipment and plans for dealing with ice, snow, and very cold conditions. Strong structures protect the plant's imported systems from wind damage, flying debris, and other weather-related concerns and some imported equipment is located higher than areas that may be more flood prone. The plant's operators and the on-site NRC inspectors are constantly aware of what can happen during severe weather and have detailed plans for what to check for, monitor during, and evaluate after weather events. While there are plans and procedures at nuclear plants for all types of weather, let's look more closely at one particular event, a hurricane. During hurricane season, nuclear plants near the coast or the Gulf of Mexico, as well as the NRC, closely monitor all tropical storms and hurricanes as they develop. If the storm's projected path shows it moving towards the U.S., our regional offices begin tracking it, paying special attention to areas with nuclear plants or other NRC-regulated facilities. If the hurricane looks like it will come ashore, the NRC's preparations intensify. Resident inspectors at nuclear sites near the projected path begin checking the plant's preparations, which may include the plant staff securing items that could be blown by high winds, checking imported emergency equipment such as diesel generators, and ensuring adequate supplies are on site if roads and bridges are blocked or damaged. Additional NRC inspectors may also be dispatched to nuclear plant sites that might be affected. About two days before expected hurricane force winds, NRC officials travel to state emergency operations centers to be in position before the storm hits. Key emergency personnel in the regional office and headquarters are also placed on call. All the nuclear facilities potentially in the hurricane's path provide the NRC continual updates and the on-site inspectors monitor the plant staff's actions. Nuclear plants are built to withstand the expected storms in their area, and actual hurricanes have shown that plants can safely shut down and survive even extremely powerful storms with little or no damage to imported safety equipment. Even so, the NRC establishes communications with state and federal emergency response agencies, including the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, just in case protective actions for local residents are needed. The NRC stays in contact with the plant staff and the NRC inspectors on site as the storm passes, using either normal communication channels or the NRC's backup emergency systems. As a hurricane approaches, the plant's operators may shut the plant down based on expected wind speeds. After the storm passes, the NRC helps assess the damage to the facility and works with other agencies such as FEMA to make sure local emergency response organizations are recovered enough to resume their normal response capabilities or any event at the nuclear plant. If the plant shut down, it will only be restarted after the NRC is satisfied no safety equipment is damaged and emergency response resources have been restored. Other severe weather conditions experienced by nuclear plants may provide less advance warning than a hurricane, and the preparations may not be as extensive, but all the plant's operators have plans in place and have shown in real events that they can respond. NRC inspectors look at the equipment and evaluate those plans, and the NRC license requirements for control room operators include testing their response to unexpected conditions, including severe weather. 
Unfortunately, very few storms and other weather events directly impact nuclear plants and other NRC regulated facilities, but a combination of preparation and experience means the NRC and the nuclear power plants we regulate are ready, no matter what the weather may bring.